Welcome to this tutorial of Scratch and this time I'm going to talk about the points and life and how to use them inside of Scratch. So let's get started. Now what you would usually do when you're working with points and life in games is that you would add something called variables and in Scratch we find them under the data category here. And pressing that will present us with two options, to make a variable and a list. And this time, we want to create a variable. And when we do that, it will ask us to name it. So this time, I'm going to make it points, as such. And then by pressing OK, it will appear up here as a graphical representation. And we can, we can represent it in different ways. Uh, we can push this one to change the appearance of it. And we can also just make it not visible by pressing the checkbox here next to points within the data category as such. And what I want to do is basically just every time I add a point, I want it to know when there is a victory achieved in the game. Um, so without further ado, let's make some code. So the first thing we want to do is to be able to add to the points. And we'll do this by using one of these change points blocks. And here we can choose which variable we want to work with. Right now there is only points. And here we can change which sort of value we want to change it by. And every time we press it, we'll see that the point is going up. Now, when it reaches 10 or more, we want it to play a sound to indicate that you have won. So I'll go right over to sounds and take out one of these play the sound meow blocks. Uh, now in order to be able to see whether you have actually surpassed 10 points or not, we need to use a operator from the operators category. And we want to use this greater than block. Now the first thing we'll want to do is to get the actual points and we'll go back to data and fetch them here and put them in one side of this greater than block and in the other side we'll just type in 10. The next thing we want to do is to go to control and fetch one of the if then blocks and you can see there's a diamond shape to the hole here which perfectly fits with this greater than block. Now that we have this block, we can put the play meow sound inside of it. This means that if the points are greater than 10, meow will be played. So we want the game to do this all the time when it's on. So I'll just add a forever block, as well as a when the green flag is pressed. And now when I start the, the actual scratch project, I can add blocks and we can see how they are adding up 8, 9, 10 and 11 and there we go that's the cat going up about the picture and that's how we can work with variables in Scratch